Okay, once again, it's the uh, 26, I believe. I'm, uh, I, this is kind of important for people to see, but we've had some really hot and dry weather. And these are martin eggs that were in the process of hatching when it was hot and dry and no real humidity. And what they did is they poked through the egg and they didn't get out fast enough because the ambient humidity outside dried the membrane around them as they were trying to hatch and they got stuck and it killed them. And unfortunately, if I was paying a lot more attention, I usually pay attention to when nests are hatching and I go in there within 24 hours. But here's a great example. See this? This is the membrane. It's inside the egg that surrounds the chick. This is the chick's beak right there. He never got a chance to get out because when he poked that hole, it instantly dried out and it restricted his movement. It couldn't hatch out of the egg. This one, same thing. I had three of them like this. I found three of them like this. It's highly unusual for me to get three of them. But definitely lots. So that these are three, there are three babies I lost. Now, what can you do about it? Well, typically what I do is I remove them out of the egg if I find them soon enough. But that's what this is about. It has nothing to do with the, the chick being unfit or not strong enough. It has nothing to do with it. It has to do with the temperature and the humidity more than anything else. And um, I always get sad when I can't save them. And I usually can save them. And usually when I... Now, I did a nest check now. I just finished. I've got a nest of five eggs, four of the eggs have hatched, and the other one is in the process. So I'm going to roll that down tomorrow and see if that little one made it out. And if he didn't make it out, I'm going to, I'm going to I'll crack open the egg and I'll, I'll pull the egg off around the hemispheres and pull the baby out of there. So um, I do whatever I can keep these numbers up because there are so few martins where I live. I mean, they're just very, very rare. They're not common uh, here. And it took me 20 years to attract one pair. So I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that they fledge as many offspring as they possibly can. Um, now, what happens after I die? Pfft. I sure wish there were other people who took an interest in this bird at least here but people are more interested in playing on their phones than they are in the natural world which is freaking disgusting and it makes me angry like you can't believe particularly young people you can't get them interested in anything like this to save your life anyway i thought uh, i thought this would be of interest and unfortunately these eggs are just good for the garbage can nothing else you can do about it till next time